Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate that. If you are new here, my name is Tobias and what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be comparing the four toner condenser microphones that I have. I'm going to be comparing them to each other and hopefully we'll be able to figure out which one might suit your needs the best and ultimately which one I think sounds the best. And I just wanted to mention really quick that I'm very excited to announce that I just got my first video sponsor ever. And it is by Toner, which is awesome. Because I've turned down a lot of sponsors in the past just because I did not like the product they were trying to promote. And honestly, some sponsors that reach out to smaller YouTubers are honestly sketchy. But I've always had a great relationship with Toner. I've always liked their microphones. And I'm more than happy to help promote Toner's Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday sale in this video because it'll help people save some money. And they are also giving me an additional 10% off coupon code, which can be used in addition to their Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales. So I'll go ahead and put Toner's link and coupon code down in the description of this video and in case you want to check those out. And now let's get down to business. Like I said earlier, I own several of Toner's microphones. I have reviewed them all individually, but now in this video, I want to compare them all to each other. The four Toner microphones that I'm going to be comparing in today's video are the Q9, the TC20, which is the microphone you're actually hearing right now, the TC777, and the TC30. And I also have the Toner T20 Boom Arm Stand, which I will also be showing to you guys in this video. And I'll go ahead and put the individual Amazon links for all these microphones down in the description below as well, in case you want to check any of those out. So first, I'm just going to give you guys a rundown on these microphones, and then after, I'll do several different audio tests where I will be comparing these microphones to each other. First off, we have the Toner Q9 and the Toner TC20. The TC20 is an XLR microphone, so you are going to need an audio interface which supplies phantom power. The interface that I use is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, and then when it comes to the Toner Q9, that is a USB microphone and you plug it straight into your computer and you're good to go. These microphones are both all-in-one condenser microphone bundles, they both come with a boom arm stand, a pop filter, a windscreen, and a shock mount. As for the differences, of course the Q9 comes with a USB cable, and the TC20 comes with an XLR cable. The Q9 has buttons to increase or decrease your input volume directly on the microphone, while with the TC20 you'll have to control your input volume on your audio interface. But one big difference between these two microphone bundles is in the boom arm stands that they come with. With. The Toner Q9 comes with a more standard or basic boom arm stand, while the TC20 comes with a much more heavy duty boom arm stand. It provides a bit more support and a more sturdy desk clamp. And this boom arm stand is actually very similar, if not identical even, to the Toner T20 boom arm stand that you can buy on its own. So even although these two microphone bundles are priced pretty similarly, um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they will both be under $50 when they are on sale. Keep in mind that with the TC20, you will need an audio interface, which supplies phantom power, while the Q9 can be plugged in directly to your computer. Now, if we take a look at the Toner TC777 and the Toner TC30, We'll see that both of them come on tripod desk stands, both come with pop filters, the TC777 also comes with a windscreen, and both of these microphones are USB condenser microphones and can be plugged directly into your computer. When these microphones go on sale, they should both be under $30, and they are quite a bit less expensive than the Toner Q9 or the Toner TC20. But of course, you do not get a boom arm stand with the Toner TC7 777 or the Toner TC30. One question I actually get kind of often is whether these two microphones can be attached to boom arm stands, and the answer is yes. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. All you have to do is unscrew the bottom half of the tripod stand, and then you just go ahead and screw the upper part to the boom arm stand. It's very simple. And I believe I just covered all the similarities and differences between these four microphones. 
Now let's go ahead and do some audio tests. I'll do several different audio tests and I'll switch between the four microphones pretty quickly so that we can get an idea of how these microphones sound next to each other. And the first thing I want to do is I want to take a listen to the noise floor of these microphones. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stop talking for a few seconds and see if you can hear like a slight underlying hiss noise or even a very low static kind of sound. So here we go. And right now I am tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the TC20. And right now I am tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the Toner Q9. And right now I am tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the Toner TC777. And now I'm typing on my computer's keyboard directly behind the Toner TC30. Right now I'm tapping on my desk around my TC20. Right now I am tapping on my desk around the Toner Q9. Right now I am tapping on the desk around the Toner TC777. And now I'm tapping on the desk around the Toner TC30. Right now I'm standing roughly 5 feet away from the TC20. And this is how it sounds when I'm standing roughly 5 feet away from the Toner Q9. And this is how the Toner TC777 sounds when I'm standing roughly 5 feet away. And right now I'm standing roughly 5 feet away from the Toner TC30. Okay guys, so I'm back on the Toner TC20 and I just reviewed the audio that I just recorded with all the different microphones and I went ahead and put the microphones in order from the one that I thought sounded the best to the one that I thought sounded the worst. So the microphone that I thought sounded the best was the TC20, which is the microphone that I'm using right now. I think it had the lowest noise floor and just all around, I, th I think it's a good sounding microphone. Now keep in mind, this is the XLR microphone. You will need an audio interface with phantom power. If you get a low quality audio interface, that can also affect the quality of the audio that you will get with this microphone. So you will need a good quality audio interface. The microphone that I put in second place was the Toner Q9. I think it also had a pretty low noise floor, but if you did listen closely, you would hear that there is some slight interference in the background, but I still thought that it sounded pretty decent. And then the microphone that I put in third place is the Toner TC30. I feel like this microphone, you know, it, it sounds okay. It sounds a little bit on the thin side, but I did think that it sounded better than the Toner TC777, which is the microphone that I put in fourth place. I just thought that the TC777 had a higher noise floor especially compared to the signal. I don't think that the TC777 is a bad sounding microphone, but I do think that the other three microphones do sound better than the TC777. But of course guys, I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comments below. Once again, I will have the links to all these microphones down in the description of this video in case you do want to check those out for yourself.
If you are considering buying one of these toner microphones or another toner product like the T20 Boom Arm Stand, I definitely suggest saving yourself a little bit of money and checking out their Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Make sure to take advantage of that coupon code down in the description below. And if you did like this video or if it helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. Typically, I post new microphone videos every Monday. I know this is a little out of the ordinary that I am posting one on a Wednesday, but typically you can't expect these kinds of videos on Mondays. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.